So I have a couple of stories to go over here today. The first one being, it's finally official, Briscoe to Joe Gibbs Racing, and what member of the NASCAR Garage, a big member of the NASCAR Garage at that, has a surprise retirement mid-season. Hello everyone, my name is Kyle aka Racing Boy Short and this is my channel where I talk NASCAR, NASCAR news and everything NASCAR. If you haven't already, I would appreciate you subscribing to the channel. I do multiple NASCAR videos throughout the week. Also, give me your thoughts on this video. What do you think about the surprise retirement and what do you think Chase Briscoe is going to do in the 19 next season? So let's go over that first story I was talking about. It's been labeled as the worst kept secret in NASCAR. And I love the way they did the announcement they had. Christopher Bell introduced the new driver of the number 19, Chase Briscoe. Not a real big surprise. It's been talked about for around two, almost three weeks right now that it sounded like this was going to happen. Chase Briscoe driving for Joe Gibbs Racing in 2025. But I think the big surprise that came with this announcement that was Bass Pro Shops is staying on board. I thought along with many others that Bass Pro Shops was going to move on from Joe Gibbs Racing, pursue Noah Gregson to sponsor him for some more races, maybe pick up a different driver, for a few races as well but they have decided to stay on board at the number 19 johnny morris with bass pro shops has created a relationship with chase briscoe these two have bonded johnny morris even came over well didn't come over but had a little message for martin trix jr and chase briscoe during the press conference and it sounds like Bass Pro Shops is going to sponsor the number 19 for not sure how many races, but it sounds like it will be the primary sponsor on the number 19 like it has been the last few years with Martin Truex Jr. driving the car. One thing I heard a lot during this press conference from Chase Briscoe and comments made after the press conference that he feels the pressure from himself and apparently maybe even others, to win. He expects to go out there and win immediately in that number 19 car. It's one of the best cars in the field. Joe Gibbs Racing and Hendrick Motorsports. If you can get into one of those cars, you automatically are competing for the win no matter where we are, whether it's a road course, a super speedway, speedway, short track. doesn't really matter. You're going to be competitive at every sort of style of track. But from that point forward, it's really up to the driver if you're able to beat out those other great race cars and great drivers out there on the track. And Briscoe, he's going to be pushing it. He's been doing really well this season for Stuart Haas Racing. Him and Gregson, I'd say, have been the standouts the last couple of weeks. Josh Berry has really put it on as well. So, so we'll have to see. We'll have to see what Briscoe is able to do in the number 19. James Small is returning i would assume most of the components that go with that number 19 team including the pit crew stuff like that would stay maybe pit crew swap at some point we see that happen a lot a lot more often now than i feel like you used to you see a lot of pit crew swaps so maybe something like that but we would have to see what happens and the other big news that came out of today i'd say was a little bit of a shock we had Richard Childress Racing's Andy Petrie surprisingly retire midway through the season. Andy Petrie, of course, a big face in the garage. Andy Petrie's been around for a very long time. He's been around for more than 30 years at this point. Has won championships as a crew chief. Was at one point a team owner. Worked for ESPN and Fox as an analyst and a color and a color commentator has been working with Richard Childress Racing the last couple of years as the competition director also the 
executive vice president. He has a couple of different titles, it seems like. Andy Petrie, he also has a very long-standing relationship with Richard Childress Racing, being the crew chief of Dale Earnhardt when he won his sixth and seventh Cup Series title. And I, I, I see this as kind of a shock. A person we see talk to media a lot for RCR, kind of one of the big faces of not just the NASCAR garage, but also the RCR organization has been really involved with the team on those day to day on the day to day basis. I'm I am kind of curious on what on what has happened here. It seemed like the press release was pretty cordial, so I don't know if there's necessarily any ill feelings or something but I, I just find this kind of odd and off-putting to see a member of the nascar such a big member of the nascar garage retire mid-season especially when rcr is struggling as much as they are austin Dillon has had probably the worst season in his career he's sitting outside the top 30 in points right now and then you have kyle bush who has been on and off over the last couple of months. And then the last month, I'd say at this point, he's had some fast cars throughout the last month in some of the races, but overall has gotten bad finishes, race in, race out, after getting involved in something throughout the race or something going wrong with this car. It has been potentially the worst season I've seen for Richard Childress Racing at this point. And there has been some down years. I feel like ever since Harvick got out of the 29, RCR kind of went down for a little bit. And then I think over the last maybe four or five years, ever since Reddick got in the number eight car, roughly around that time, RCR began to pick it up. And we even we even saw that at the beginning part of last year. But then once they got to the playoffs, RCR has been falling off a cliff. They have not been very competitive this season. Like I said, Kyle Busch has been pretty competitive in a good amount of races, but does not have the finishes. And I don't think I've seen Austin Dillon competitive in a single race this season. He has been completely awful this season, which could also be, that could also be another kind of, let's let's put on our tinfoil hats right here. There's been talk over the last year, year and a half, I'd say at this point, about the potential of Austin Dillon retiring could that potentially be why Andy Petrie's retiring I doubt it I don't think I think he would still be part of the team until the rest of the season but maybe there is some ill feelings there I'm not sure maybe Austin Dillon is taking his role next year if he retires like I said this is kind of like a tinfoil hat sort of theory just kind of want to put it out there just an idea Ultimately, I think Andy Petrie retired because of the day-to-day, probably. Just very long days, long nights, and especially when they're struggling this much. He just maybe wanted to get out of it. And because he is so close with Richard Childress and Richard Childress Racing, he probably had a heart-to-heart with with RC. And RC said, if you're not happy, you can can go. We We can figure this out without you or something like that. It was... Because the press release sounded very cordial, but who knows? We've seen a lot of cordial sort of things go on with press releases and interviews and stuff like that. When behind the scenes, it's not that at all. It's the opposite of that. So we'll, we'll have to see if more news comes out about this. I just found this quite surprising to see earlier today that Andy Petrie is retiring effective immediately. Pretty crazy stuff. But give me all your thoughts down below. What do you think Chase Briscoe will do next year in the number 19? Do you think he'll get a win? Do you think he'll get a multi-win season? He was talking about in his press conference that he kind of wants a Martin Shrek's moment. When before Martin Shrek's Jr. came over to Furniture Row and then later Joe Gibbs Racing, he only had two wins in his career. And then he began to blow up and want to win a championship. Do you think you could maybe see a breakout year from chase briscoe let me know down below also give me your thoughts and your theories on andy petrie why do you think the competition director the executive vice president of richard childress racing retired mid-year effective immediately 
let me know down below. But that'll do it for me. Thanks for watching. My name is Kyle, aka Racing Boy Short, saying peace.